Hey guys, what's up? I want to talk to you about um, making your choices and deciding who you are in the world. This morning, I guess I'm being all philosophical, but I've been reading a lot. I've been reading Atomic Habits by James Clear, which is amazing, and um, about the ch different choices we make every day that shape who we ultimately are. So we get to decide who we are, and that's the miracle, right? Gabby Bernstein and The Course in Miracles, they teach uh, that we can choose again at any moment, and that's what's so amazing. That is where the miracle is. So if you've already made some decisions that you want to change, you can decide today to choose again. And um, we all get to decide who we are. We have free will to decide who we are. And the other thing I want to talk about is um, kind of crowdsourcing your decisions, right? Uh, there's studies in the book I was reading where if a person has a specific opinion or a principle or belief, and they're faced with maybe one or two people whose opinions differ, they will hold on to their own core belief. But if they are um, a part of a group and the majority opinion of the group is different than theirs, ultimately they will kind of let go of theirs or forego their opinion for the sake of being a part of the group. It's just kind of something we do subconsciously. And that's important when you think about that we use crowdsourcing to, to form opinions. We look at Yelp, we look at uh, Travel Advisor, we look at all these different things to form our opinions based on what we think if we listen to what other people have already said, that we can find the best, the best solution for everything. Sometimes the majority rules, opinions, aren't the best for us individually. And so I'm just asking people to look at their core um, decisions and decide if that's the right thing for them. So um, this ultimately boils down to like, if you're listening to the news and you're listening to all of the doom and gloom out there about the economy, but you really wanna make a real estate move, the point is, if it's the right decision for you and your family, it's the right decision. And there are a million reasons to do and act now. Uh, and there are a million opportunities out there. Uh, so I am just here to say, you know, don't listen to the popular opinion or the majority rules at all times. It's time to like really dig deep and decide what's right for you and right for your family. I just saw a bunny hopping by. They're so cute. I love Pasadena. Anyway, happy Tuesday, y'all. And um, if you have any questions or you have anything you want to talk about that's, you know, on your mind real estate-wise or any other way, just reach out, DM me, and let's talk. Peace.